I'm one who doesn't necessarily write down a long speech, although I do think you always have to have your main points. You need to know the three things you want to convey to people. Uh, you also want to write down potential stories or knowing your audience, listening to your audience, things that uh, um, could be relevant. Uh, but again, if when you're writing, it still needs to be whoever you're writing it to, you need to think of your audience. And you want to begin, um, even an email, you want to use the words you or your right up front, because if you're writing to someone, you don't want to beat around the bush as to what your point is. You want to be more direct mm -hmm. and, uh, and say more up front what you're, t what you're trying to say. Yes, um, it just it varies. If it's a new topic, I would want to read and be very familiar with, with the topic. Mm -hmm. If it's something I'm comfortable with, usually I would kind of think about what story mm -hmm. I might want to share that day. Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes, you'll think of an opener because again, you don't want to just come in and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, and I'm here to tell you about the tax code. You're, they're going to you know, certainly be bored immediately. Uh, but it's just, I try to think about the audience and do as much research I can about the audience and to see what could I say, what would they be interested. And sometimes I will begin that way. If it's more of an interactive talk, I might ask, how many of you heard the information I've talked about before. How many have had an experience with this? And you can change what, you're, what you want to share to what some of the people might be interested in. Mm -hmm. And if it's a longer talk, and you might get three or four people's feedback. What things do you really want to mm -hmm. know about today? Mm -hmm. And begin that way. And, uh, mm -hmm. So I, I just think in anything we do, it's important to engage the, the audience as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Other people I work with practice more than I do. Yeah. I don't do a lot of speeches in front of 500 people. Right. If I did, yes, I would absolutely practice it. Yeah. But a lot of the work I do is, is working with 20, 30, 40 mm -hmm. people. So I will begin by asking them, making it more interactive. Mm -hmm. Humor is important. You certainly never want to have a victim of any joke. The most important thing, I think, is to smile and be approachable. Uh, you know, we're not all comedians, mm -hmm. but there are times when you can make light of a, of a situation. Sometimes you might know a person who's a friend in the audience and someone who does something funny, and if you can connect to them, and th I think that's good humor. Mm -hmm. But you certainly never want to have a victim in a story. Mm -hmm. And people, you can see, with a little bit of humor lightens the tension. Because sometimes the audience is as more nervous as, as a speaker can be, mm -hmm. or at least they're bored or what. You want to get their attention mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, I think I used it just uh, the other day when I was talking to some, some physicians, and I knew one of their colleagues who was, um, and physicians, uh, what, I'm trying to think of, without giving too much detail, uh, I've noticed because people want to eat healthy and live healthy. And oftentimes when you have a lot of people around or a meeting, people will serve donuts or, or they'll serve easy, you know, fatty foods and things. And I've noticed that if, if um, you're a patient of that doctor, they tend not to eat it in front of them. Right. And so when you're in a situation when you have physicians around, I just made a reference. We were talking to some other physicians, and I just said, you know, well, so-and-so, you know, I've been with them a lot and and I notice that they don't they don't really eat in front of their doctor too much now, I was trying to illustrate the point of how much people really look up to doctors mm -hmm. and listen to doctors mm -hmm. and so it was a way in a light-hearted way they mm -hmm. they listen so much that they change their behavior mm -hmm. around them mm -hmm. um, I would guess the best would be when when you get the results you want or, or if you connected with people, if you've said things that changed their perspective or, or that made them inspired. And just the other day, we talked to some people, and they left, said, you know what? This is the highlight of my day. I thank you for being here and sharing these stories, and I'm looking forward to my day. And those are the, when you can really connect with people and they feel good about what they shared. 
you know, it's not you're not selling anything. It's just more inspiring people to mm. to listen or go on and do something. And I think that's when it's a success. Mm.